Thomas from Bricks here. In today's video, I want to show you how you can upgrade your existing Bricks site to the new container layout in Bricks 1.2. This is a necessary step after you update it to 1.2. So I would say if there's no immediate reason for you to update right away, I would recommend that you wait until Bricks 1.2 becomes available as a one-click update from your WordPress dashboard. And this is just simply because the migrator right now is in its first version and we can definitely apply some improvements to that one, making the migration even easier and faster for you. Okay, so what are we going to migrate in this video? Yes, you can see I'm here on the homepage of bricksbuilder.io. So we are going to migrate this header template here, those two sections, this top bar and our main header. Then the entire homepage, you can see all of those sections we're going to migrate and the footer template as well, which starts here at the pricing table, goes down here, FAQs and some more navigation menus down here. So I've already updated to 1.2, but I'm not performing this on my live site. Obviously, if you have a site that is receiving traffic or maybe you're running some ads, uh, I would definitely recommend you that you clone your live site, um, do this on a staging environment. Then you have all the time that you need to perform the migration. And yeah, once everything is migrated properly, you can just uh, merge it back into your main live site and you're good to go. Okay, let's have a look at our WordPress dashboard here. And as I said, we're going to migrate our header template. That's what I will start with as well. So under Bricks templates, you can see here, I have this notification telling me that I need to migrate my existing Bricks data to the new container layout. There's a link here as well to the Bricks Academy. In case you want to know how the container works, there's a video in this um, Academy article as well. Okay, so in order to run the migrator, I just need to select the template that I want to migrate. You can do this in bulk. You could just um, select all of your templates because you can see they all need to be migrated. So you have this little indicator here, this little label telling you this has not been migrated yet. Personally, I would do this one by one. This is also what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to select my header template. And before I actually start migrating anything, I want to show you how the site looks like right now, because we haven't performed any migration, but your content is still being rendered on the front end, although not, uh, it's not going to be perfect anymore. So this is how it should look. And this is how my site looks right now with Bricks 1.2 without performing any migration. So this is still using your old section row and column data. And as you can see, my header here um, definitely needs some adjustments in terms of alignment. This section um, looks good. This looks good as well. This needs some fixes. Um, that one is good. Alignment here needs to be fixed. Here as well, here as well, and down here as well. All right, let's get started. So I've selected my header template. Now I go to bulk actions and then I just click on my great bricks data and then I click apply. And you can see here now my bricks data was converted to the new container layout structure. Okay, let's open this header in the builder and let's see what we've got. Okay, you can see I have my two sections here migrated. If I uh, collapse my structure, you can see I have my top bar and I have my header. So I'm going to start with my top bar here. So if I expand this one, you can see we have our top bar, our row and our column. So in Bricks 1.2, all of those are containers. So you can see this little container icon here. This is the indicator. This is a container. The only reason it's showing you this row label and this column label is because of the migrator. Um, I just want to make it easier for you to uh, um, understand that, to see what actually happened here, what has been migrated. Okay. This one, this section already had this label here, top bar. That's why you see this label instead of section. So yeah. And then inside of this column, we have two elements here. So this is our text and our button as well. And actually, when you perform this migration, it's not just simply uh, an effort to uh, make sure that you can just use Bricks 1.2, but it's also gonna be an opportunity to actually optimize your HTML structure to make it um, yeah, less bloated, um, resulting in a better 
um, smaller page size and then obviously also better um, loading times and etc. So, and of course you also prepared for future enhancement in terms of the layout itself. So if you do perform this on a client side, there are definitely upsides in the long term to do this migration here as well. Okay, so for this simple section, I actually don't need a row in the column. So in my case now, I would move this one out of here and my button as well. And then I'm just gonna delete this row and column. And now you can see rather than having a section row and column, which was necessary in the previous version of Bricks. Now you can just have your container here and inside this container I have my text and my button. So I just need to align them now. So all I need to do is uh, change the direction by default. Everything is aligned vertical. So I'm going to select horizontal and that's already it. My first section is migrated. Let's save this change. And let's continue with our next section here. So if we expand all of them, you can see we have a header here, our row, our column, and then our four elements inside of this one. Okay, how can we accomplish, how we can get from this mess to this sort of layout here? Okay, let's just move everything around a little bit first. So the row and the column here are not really necessary. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this straight under my main container here. I'm going to do the same for my nav menu and then I'm going to take my column and move it here. My row I'm going to delete and you can see now I have instead of having those um, four elements on one level I now basically was able to group those two buttons together using this container. I can actually rename this. So let's just call this one buttons. Okay so now we have three elements inside of this container. So let's just align them as well next to each other. And I think we want to have space between all of them. Exactly. And then we should need to adjust our width here for our container because by default, it's trying to take up all the available horizontal space. So first of all, we're going to change our direction and we want to push our content to the right. And then also we want to set the width to auto. So I'm going to go here under layout and I change my width unit. I'm just going to put in auto here. And you can now see it, the container takes up only the space that it needs. And that's actually already it. Um, one thing I would probably change is just rather than having my padding here in this container, because this was my column previously, I would remove this one. So let's just remove it and just apply it to our outer container. So our logo is covered here as well. So we set this all to 15 and this is how it looks like right now on desktop. Let's have a look at our smaller breakpoints to make sure our header looks good there as well. So I'm going to first go to a tablet portrait and I can see, okay, this is how it looks like right now. Um, I don't really necessarily need this little hamburger menu icon centered here anymore. So what I could do, I can go here to style layout and then I can work with auto margins. So what I can do here, if I want to push this to the left hand side, I can set the auto um, right like this. And this is going to push my nav menu to the left. If I would do it the other way around, I would push it to this side. So it really depends on the layout you want to achieve. Now I can give this some margin here, maybe 20 pixel. And this is how it looks like right now. Let's go to the next smaller breakpoint. Looks good as well. This one now is um, breaking, which is not really what we want. So we need to see how we can fix that. Um, one thing that you also realized here now, what you can see is that I no longer see this account button. And this is because I'm actually hiding this button here on this smallest breakpoint. So if I would go to this button here, you can also see the setting. It's called um, display none. And with this, basically, you can hide any element at a specific breakpoint. In our case, we hide it on mobile portrait. Okay, just so that you know, not that you're surprised why <laughs> this button suddenly is gone. And if I go to my header here, and I'm going to have a look, um, how to accomplish this that I can wrap this basic that everything is on one line. I can change my wrap to no wrap. 
and then it's basically all on one line because by default at the mobile landscape we would have this um, break so this way now it stays all on one line what i can also do here for my top bar i could actually increase the height a little bit because now i don't really have a spacer to the bottom of this section so i can just drag it like this maybe i'm gonna set this to 110 and then it just looks like this this breakpoint this breakpoint and our biggest breakpoint. Okay, let's save our header and let's continue with our homepage. Okay, so we can actually close that one. Um, let's reload here. Okay, you can see now on our staging side, our header looks like this now. And let's continue going to our pages. And I have my homepage here. And if you were actually trying to edit this with bricks before you migrate, it's just maybe you're not aware of this label here and you would just click edit with bricks. Then the builder would load and well, obviously now we have our header here covering this and you would see that this page contains old data and this information basically just telling you that um, you should perform the migration here. Okay, let's close it and let's migrate. So I'm gonna click here apply and now my homepage has been migrated you can see the label is gone and we can start editing with bricks okay so there's our header right here and our section and let me just collapse all of them and then we can go over them one by one starting with our hero section here and the first thing that you notice is that the alignment here is off and the reason for that is previously we were just able to select typography text align center and this way all of your elements and all of the text would be centered now the elements only take up the width that they need is not 100 percent anymore that's why this um, text align center does not work to center also buttons that was like a hack that we used before up until 113 now you can use the proper alignment controls to accomplish this rather than this um, text align hack by using text align center so i can actually remove this this has no effect in this case and again we can optimize here we don't need the row we don't need the column this is a very simple section We are simply going to move our elements outside of this right into our hero container and we can delete those too. All we need to do to align the center is just to go to our container and align our items centered. And that's it for this section. Let's go further down. This one is already looking good. There's actually nothing I need to change here. Because this one is a little bit more complex, we actually need our columns here. Um, we have here an, uh, yeah, the text here, the image here. So yeah, I would keep that one. I would not touch this. Here, we need to adjust the alignment as well. So I can just click here on this container and set this one to center. Same thing for this one. This needs some centering. And yeah, rather than going through them one by one like this, you can also just right click copy the style, paste it, paste it, paste it. You can go here. And this actually is also not really necessary. Center it again. And that's it for this section as well. Let's save our changes. And let's continue going further down this section. Also, no need to adjust anything. This one looks good as well. So you can see um, I'm not aligning anything horizontally here really, so I don't need to do anything in terms of um, adjusting and fixing my migration. I can just continue. But uh, that's actually already it for this uh, homepage. So you see there was not that much to do. Um, one thing I wanna point out is that in Bricks 113 and all the previous versions, we had this margin bottom for our elements. Now because of the new flexible layout um, and because everything is an element, also the container, there is no more default element margin. If you wanna set it, um, you can do so using the theme styles. So I can go here to theme styles and then under general, 
I can set my element margin. So first I'm going to unlink this and then you can see here when I'm changing this now, you will see that the margin here between my two elements should change. You can see here now it changed and we have proper spacing between all our elements. Um, the same thing also for this root container margin. So the naming is maybe a bit unfortunate because we don't really have sections anymore. Um, this is the container margin for all of the containers that are on the root level. So by default, previously the section margin bottom was 30. So if we want to restore the same value, we would just put in 30 pixel here. Okay. If you increase this value to 130, you would see now the spacing between those is 130 and not just um, 30. Okay, that's our homepage and we can continue with our photo template. Okay, let's close that one. Let's go back to our templates, select our photo, select our action, apply it. And let's see how the photo looks like. Okay, header our homepage and our footer starts here. Okay, again, alignments um, needs to be adjusted. So we would just click on our container here and align this centered. That's it. This one as well, center it. This looks all good. Um, this needs some adjustment as well. Instead of horizontal, this needs to be vertical vertical and vertical and that is it so i think within 10 to 12 minutes we basically migrated our entire photo template we converted our home page entirely and our header as well and the header actually took the most time because we need to adjust for multiple breakpoints we need to align our mobile menu in a different way or at least that's what we did i deliberately took this um, detour to show you how also to use the order margin if you're not familiar with that. Also now in Bricks 1.2, you can set the unit for each direction um, individually. Um, you can put in any unit you want as well. So there's a lot of enhancement in Bricks 1.2 and I think it's gonna be a great investment um, performing this migration. You're not just simply migrating to a new data syntax. At the same time, like what we did with the header, we removed some of those columns, we removed some of those rows, some of those complexity is now gone. That was previously in Bricks 113 and the previous versions of requirement. We always relied on this really rigid section row column element hierarchy. Now we're completely fluid, completely flexible. And I think this is gonna lay a great foundation for future layout um, enhancement, for extending your site, for creating more complex layout for your own site, for your client's site. So yeah, I think it's time well spent. We try to improve the migrator as time goes on as we receive feedback. So like I said, if you don't have a mission critical project right now, that requires 1.2 that you need to migrate from an existing site. I would recommend and tell you to wait until the one click update is available from your WordPress dashboard. In case you decide to go ahead and try the migrator and for some reason, um, or you just don't have the time to do all of those steps that I just performed, then you can always roll back. You can always go to your Bricks account. You can download 113. After migrating your existing data, the old data is still gonna be there. You can always go back to an old version and your site is just gonna run just like before. And whenever you're ready, you perform the migration with Bricks 1.2. And yeah, if you build a new site, definitely start using Bricks 1.2 rather than the old version. And yeah, you're gonna be set up for a great future. 